Hey guys, Karak50 here with a double review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Hurricane Ninja Gashat and Deluxe Money Creator VRX Gashat from Kamen Rider x -Aid. These are a pair of Gashats released to tie in with Kamen Rider x -Aid, the movie, which are used by a new writer and new form respectively. So, let's get started. First up, we have the Hurricane Ninja Gashat. This is the writer Gashat used by the movie exclusive writer Kamen Rider Fuma. So, this is a dark blue and white Gashat. We have the cover art here, which has the name there, and this picks a moonlit ninja, along with his troops in the background. Got the name on the side, of course the insertion part, and the back. And so this, again, has the same standard cycle of sounds as the other uh, standard gashats. So first is the name activation. Then either the game clear or game over sound. And look at the back. You can see the image of Kamen Rider Fuma level 2. Second, we have the Mighty Creator VRX Gashat. This is a rare Gashat used by Kamen Rider X8 to obtain his movie exclusive form. So, though this has the standard shape and size of a Gashat, this is another special Gashat, especially in terms of its coloring. First off, for the coloring you can see that while the back part is a solid light blue, the front part is a transparent white. Then the insertion part is also a clear blue. You have the cover art for Mighty Creator VRX, which, of course, being another entry in the Mighty series, has Mighty on it, this time equipped with a set of goggles that look like a VR headset. You have the name on the side, and the back. So, we can then get the standard sounds. And you'll hear that sounds a little bit different than normal gas shots. And that'll, uh, that'll be something we get into when we get to its use with the other devices. Then we can look at the back. And get a look at x Creator Gamer. Next up, we can use these gashats with Gamer Driver, starting with Hurricane Ninja. Hurricane Ninja! So first we'll insert into slot 1 for the level 1 transformation. So, standard fare, of course. Then we'll open up for the level 2 transformation. And there we have the transformation for Conrad Fuma Ninja Gamer level 2, who you can see here on the front of the packaging. And he does look a lot like the ninja on the box art, which makes sense. You can see a slightly better image with a bit more of his body here on the back. Then we'll switch it over to slot 2. Then we can get the level 3 sound. And that's the transformation for Ninja Gamer Level 3. And while they are pretty cool sounds, I personally think they're a little bit on the short side. So next up we have Mighty Creator VRX. Mighty 
So first we'll insert it into slot one. And you'll notice that there is no level one transformation sound. Instead, it goes to a standby noise that's on loop. So, we'll just open it up for the level two transformation. And that's the transformation into Conan X8 Creator Gamer. And the cool thing about this gotshot is that it actually uses the same voice as the Conan Chronicle gotshot. So that makes it seem a little bit more special. And it is interesting that this is a standard sidekick gotshot that doesn't have the level 1 transformation. Then we'll switch over to slot 2 for the level 3 transformation. And there's the hypothetical level 3 transmission. So, of course, with two guys jets, we can mix and match. Then we'll switch them around. So clearly these two don't match up quite the best, especially because for this combination, the transformation sound for uh, My Creator VRX actually runs longer than that of Hurricane Ninja. But now gadgets are uh, quite well designed for each other. Next we can test out the Kimiwaza attacks for these two. So first Hurricane Ninja, first up in the Kimiwaza slot holder. I'm actually going to bring in the Gachkan Sparrow to use this because it seems a little bit more fitting for a ninja to use. Then we have my creator VRX. So, first the slot holder. And there's an interesting th thing there in that it, instead of calling it a Kimiwaza, it calls it a Kamiwaza, which would be like a god technique. So it must be pretty powerful. Then, of course, the old Gashkan Breaker for our critical finish. I'm actually going to do it one more time because there is a different interjection at the end that this can have as a bonus. And then we have the extra bonus sound, which is Shingeki no Ipats. Good. 
And finally, we'll test out the sounds they make in the Gashkanki Slasher. And there we go. So overall, these two gadgets are definitely on two different levels. For Hurricane Ninja, it's a nice gadget, but it feels a little underwhelming because it's just a pretty standard gadget that feels like it could have been released in the series and nobody would have bad an eye, and that there's nothing really about it that really makes it fit or like it feels like it should be in the movie when it really could have easily been in the series. As for my creator VRX, this feels more like a special movie gadget. It's got a whole new look to it with the clear parts and the different insertion parts. It actually has a bit more special sounds in the fact that it uses a different voice than the standard one, actually using the Kamen Rider Chronicle voice. It actually does away with the standard level 1 transformation sound, and it even has some new and exclusive special attack sounds. And this kind of brings us to my overall thoughts on the Rider Gashats, as these are the last two standard release Gashats. Overall, I think the Rider Gashats were a pretty cool gimmick. It was definitely neat having these different game cartridges being used for the transformation devices, but these two, especially with their differences, do kind of highlight some of the problems I had with them, specifically with the standard Gashats, in that... While they did have their special sounds, they also had a lot of shared sounds that made them seem less special. On their own, you no, know, most gashats had only one unique sound, which was the activation sound, then you either got the random game clear or game over sound. And for the gamer driver, while it had two unique level up sounds, most gashats had the same standard level one transformation sound which could get really old after you've, heard it, after you've heard it enough times. And hearing it over and over again just doesn't make it seem as special. And you have the special attack sounds to where most of them made the same generic critical strike sound when used with the slot holder, and it's really only in a Gashikan weapon where you could really unlock the crew special attack sound. I don't really think that was the best idea to do, because I feel like a lot more people are going to own the slot holder than a Gashkan weapon, simply because the slot holder is a pretty essential part of the belt, and actually includes Gashat, whereas pretty much every Gashkan weapon did not include any Gashat, with the exception of stuff like the Gashkan Sparrow or the Gashkan Bug Visor. And... You know, it just feels like, basically, I think more Gashats should have been made, like the My Creator VRX Gashat, and stuff like the Counter Iron Chronicle Gashat, or the Dragon Knight Hunter Z Gashat, where it had a lot more special and unique sounds to offer. And, you know, the reason why I have such a problem with it is because each Gashat is programmed on their own. You know, these are not sounds that you get from the belt. They're sounds that you get from the interview with Gashats. It's more understandable to have these kind of generic sounds when all the sounds come from the belt, but it just feels lazy when it comes from the actual transformation items themselves. Now, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed collecting the Rider Gashats, and it definitely was cool being able to mix and match them together to create different combinations. But I really did feel like they were, on the whole, kind of lacking because most of them had these shared sounds. Now, with this also leads me to the end of my main series, x Reviews. There is going to be at least one premium Bandai Gashat coming out that I will review, and then that leads us to the topic of the figures. Now, from what I can tell, 
I definitely know that the standard LVUR series has ended, and from what I've seen, it doesn't seem like we'll be getting any other LVUR PB figures. And a lot of you are probably wondering, you know, what's going to happen with the other formed and riders that were made in the series. Well, I'm going to let you know right now that a lot of those forms and riders were actually put into the Soto Candy Toy line of figures. And I have already picked up a lot of them, and I am also getting some of the premium sets. So, I am going to be covering those you know, over the next few weeks or months or whatever until I cover them all. Just so you guys can get a look at what figures do exist for the Riders and Forms that weren't put into the Level Up Riders series. And of course, when the toys come out, I will be trying to review the toys for the next Rider series Common Rider build. But, with that out of the way, as for these two, now Hurricane Ninja is a pretty standard gotcha. shot, so if it appeals to you, you know, that's cool, but at the same time, it's also not that special, so it's kind of an easy pass if you're not so much into it, while Mighty Creator VRX is a lot more special and definitely feels a lot more worth it if you want a cool final gotcha. shot. So, next time, I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Kerber Rose Forger. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.